Master, so he's the man. Um, just off the bat, of course, DJ was just in here. He was very, very emotional, upset about the stoppage. Yeah, he just yelled at me while I was doing an interview when he walked by. What did he say? That was bullshit. And, you know, I thought it was an early stoppage, too. So Listen, you got two of the best guys in the world, two world champions, and a super fighter. Let them fight. Let them fight. Let them finish. And I'm not taking anything away from Cejudo. Because the fight went 20 seconds and Cejudo busted him up. I'm sure when you saw him sitting here, it looks like he was in a three-round fight. Um, but Jesus Christ, let him fight. Horrible stoppage. So, TJ said he wants to do the rematch at flyweight. Does that interest you at all? No, don't ask me. I, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what I'm going to do. Just with these two fighters or the flyweight division as a whole? Is it still... You said we'll see what happens. So, so we'll see what happens. I didn't say I'd have an answer on Saturday. Fair enough, and uh, you know, controversy in the co-main event as well with Greg Hardy. Uh, what did you just think about the ending there and so, everything unfolded? So, you know, when, when somebody comes in to the UFC, um, especially when they're famous, first thing I always want to know is, can you really fight? You know, listen, when you're when you're fighting these smaller shows and you're knocking guys out left and right, it's great. When you get here, it's a whole other ball game. And whether you look at Hardy or Lipsky. Um, it's, 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 it's a different world when you get here, man. It's a, it's a whole different vibe. And um, one thing that I did learn about Hardy tonight, he can fight. He can fight. He's an athlete. Not only can he punch hard, but he can take a big punch. He got hit with some good shots tonight. Um, his ground game, I think everybody thought if he got taken down to the ground, that was going to be the end of him. He got out of trouble on the ground uh, uh, several times. And uh, he learned a lot tonight. So we'll see where he goes from here. So he has a future in the UFC for sure. Yeah, he'll get another fight. You know, he made, he made, he made a really big rookie mistake and it cost him an L tonight. So it, 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 it ruined his perfect record. Yeah. And uh, I mentioned Cerrone off the top. Uh, sensational performance by him coming back down to lightweight. Uh, extends his record for most wins, finishes, all that stuff. Yep. Uh, he said he wants to fight Conor McGregor next. I'm sure you saw Conor's tweet saying, you know, great performance, I'll fight you. Yeah. Is that a possible matchup? Yeah, I mean, anything's possible. I mean, if that's what the, if those guys want that and the fans want to see it, that's what I do. Cerrone said he'd go to Ireland to fight him. Is, is, are the <laughs> days of Conor fighting in Ireland over, or is that a possibility? That's awesome. I didn't know that. That's funny. I don't know, we'll see what happens, you know? Obviously, the, you know, don't run out there and say that's the fight I'm making. I don't know what I'm going to do, but, but, I, but I like the fact that two of these guys that are complete dogs and fight anybody, willing to fight anybody, want to fight each other. That's fun. And just last thing for me, uh, obviously the big debut tonight on ESPN. Um, what was the feedback you got? You know, I saw some stuff on Twitter, some people saying their feed was perfect, some people had stuff stalling, dropping out. What was the yeah. reception you got? That, so. The, uh, what, the feedback that we got that there weren't, there weren't a lot of issues. Um, and, and, you know, of course there's going to be issues. You don't know what the deal is. Do people have the right internet or, you know, who knows. But there wasn't a lot of that. So that's a good thing and that's only going to get better. But we murdered it tonight. It was, the, it was by far the biggest event ESPN Plus has ever done by a long shot. We, we killed it tonight. We, when I tell you we beat expectations, we murdered expectations. So the ESPN guys are really pumped, we're really pumped, and uh, it was a really big night for all of us. You, you mentioned uh, Connor, well, we mentioned Connor and Cowboy, but has Connor, is there any update on what Connor's deal is with Vegas, him no. and Khabib? Yeah, and I mean, that's, that's still looming over our heads. That thing has to happen, and once we figure out suspensions and fines and all this other stuff, then we can start running our business again with these guys. And is there any sort of preconceived notion of how long if Khabib gets suspended for X, then okay, we have to make an interim belt? No, if it's I'm not even, so, so, so the thing is, it's like, when you talk about stuff like suspension, or Colby Covington, or any of this stuff, when that stuff happens, you are completely out of my mind. You're, you're on the shelf, I don't even think about you again. I'm thinking about the guys that are actually still, you know, can work and can do all this other stuff. So. I uh, completely out of my mind. When, when this, when, when they, they get their sentences and whatever happens to them, then we'll start making decisions on what the future is for those two guys. Any criticism for the New York State Athletic Commission for the uh, assignment for the referee assignment in the main event? <laughs> 
I don't love it when, you know, they have local guys in, in, in main events, especially a fight this important between, you know, a super fight between two world champions. Please, 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 commissions, put the, put the experienced guys in there. Give the guys with the most experience. Because all, all you do is you hurt the fighters, you hurt the fans. And, and your, your job is to do the exact opposite. You know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, it's, I, I don't love it. Honestly, I don't love it. Did you have any more evolved plans for Greg Hardy that were kind of derailed after tonight? Mm -hmm. No, I, not, I didn't know what was going to happen. You know, we've seen glimpses of him. He looked good. Like I said, coming in tonight, I want to know if you can fight. And there's no difference between Hardy or Lipsky, who's on a nine-fight win streak and was a world champion in another organization. Um, I want to see if you can fight. I don't really know what you can do until I see you here. I've seen you in these other places, but I want to see you here. What can you do here? Let me tell you what. Love him or hate him, that dude can fight. And he took some big shots on the chin tonight, too. Um, he's got a chin. He's athletic. Stuffed a couple takedowns. Got in trouble on the ground and got out of it. Um, you know, we, we saw a lot of different things from him tonight, which is what I wanted to see. And, and no matter who you are, when you come in here, I throw the kitchen sink at you. you you're gonna, you, there's no layups here in the UFC. You mentioned Lipsky. Um, how impressed were you by JoJo and her comeback here? And how far away do you think she is from being a, a, a legit title contender? Well, Lipsky, coming off a nine fight win streak, you know, world champion in other organizations, tons of hype behind her, and you, we put her in with a, with a crafty, nasty veteran. And uh, she came out and she looked awesome tonight. I mean, JoJo looked incredible. She fought the perfect fight. Dana, what were your thoughts on Gregor Gillespie's performance tonight? Yeah, looked good. It was a good fight. Um, yeah. What do you do with a guy like him? He's got five straight finishes, you know, never seems to want to call anybody out, always take, says, I'm going to take it. You know, slow and steady, and work my way up the ladder. How do you? What, what do you do with a guy like that? Yeah, you know, there, there's all different types here. There, there's the guys who make a lot of noise, and girls who make a lot of noise. Um, and then there's the guys that, 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 that go like that. Well, just, I'm cool with taking it one step at a time and seeing what happens. Dean, I know you said you don't really know exactly what you want to do with Sabudo and Dillashaw. Uh, you know, because there's two different weight classes, that sort of thing. But with the way things ended tonight, do you believe a rematch between them is is the right next move? I don't know yet. I don't know yet. I got to think about it. You know, you guys know every Tuesday at the matchmaking meeting, we'll get back in there and we'll talk about it. Give us a lot of time to think over the uh, over the, the rest of the weekend. Watch the Patriots win the AFC East and then uh, I mean the AFC Championship, and then uh, and then we'll go from there. You mentioned uh, Joanne Caller when his name was brought up. You know, she was saying, hey, she, she hopes that, you know, with the past couple of wins that she's in a, in a title position. You've got Jessica I out there who believes she's the true number one contender. Have you figured out in that division who's going to face Shevchenko next? I, I think we did uh, off the top of my head. I think we, we, we said that we were going uh, we to do a fight with Jessica I. I think I is next, yeah. Fair enough. And last thing, uh, earlier this week, and you mentioned it tonight too, Colby Covington's name. Now, you said you didn't see what, what he had said, but he's been asking for his release. He's basically been challenging you to, to let him go from the organization because you're not willing to give him a title fight right now. Would you entertain that? I mean, would you be willing to terminate his contract if, if, he, if he wants out? No. Silliness. Any other questions? All right. Thank you, guys. Have a good night.